And as I showed y'all the other day, I did get some Gecko Tech plates. I've been printing with it. Uh, I just finished this print. It's pretty big. I mean, you set it on there. Give you an idea of the size. Okay. Anyway. The magnets came in today. So if you notice, this is clipless now. And we're going to pile of clips. Because this ain't going to have clips on it no more this one or this one I have clips on it so basically what I've done gecko tech does not make a magnetic base for this printer so I had to order a custom cut size because I don't have the airwolf size I've asked for a year now they still don't do it I ordered the custom size this is six millimeters sh uh, short lengthwise and it's the full length of the bed the other this way but to go get the get the full length I need it for this, I would have had to went to the 400 by 400 custom, and I only needed six millimeters more, and it was going to be about a third more of the cost. So I went with this because I wasn't sure I liked it or not. Now that I've used it, this is better than any other system I've ever used, and I have the zebra plates are right there, print and Z zebra, whatever you want to call them. Um, I have the matter of fact. There's a flex plate right there underneath that. That's a FLEKS plate. Um, those all work. They don't work as good as this. Uh, I did a lot of testing with the zebra plates. And I did manage to damage a, two skins. And I did manage to damage one of these. Nice thing is you can print on two side, both sides. So you can flip it over if you want to. So, if you damage one side, you got the other side. You got to remember not to print too close on this, uh, or you'll never get it off. Same way with the build tack and the flex plate. The flex plate flexes to break off. Uh, the plastic material it's made out of, it does good most of the time. But, quite honestly, I think the zebra plate did better than the flex plate. Build tack works great. If you're not careful you get too close, you'll tear it up trying to get it off. But it works great. Um, it's not as good with nylon without PVA glue or something. These work great regardless. Now the nylon plate is a different plate. And I do have it up there also. So, um, But I can't complain. So back to what I was doing. Since there's no magnetic base... What I did was I ordered a bunch of these high-powered, high-temp magnets from uh, Magnet for Less. I'll put a link in the video at the top. Then I took 3M out, double-sided outdoor tape. You can see it right there. It's gray. Uh, it's The red is just a, the covering for the sticky, but it's gray. And it's the outdoor stuff. And it's actually the same width as one of these magnets. These are one by quarter by eighth, I believe. Um, they have two inch by quarter by eighth. These are 12 to 13 pounds. I believe the other ones are 23 to 26 pounds of pulling force. You notice they put a little spacer between them. So and that's how they ship with little spacers. The, the bigger magnets, the, the slightly longer ones with the more pulling force would have probably been ideal. This was a test. These worked great. Uh, what I did, if you get right in there, you can see them. There they are. See it right there? Right there. There is one, two, three, four rows of those magnets all going straight across like this three there's three of them one two three one two three one two three there's 12 total and if you notice oh yeah we don't want to do that do we i grabbed this plate this plate does not move that and that is the boric glass uh original plate underneath between them so it does not move I'm actually putting a lot of force on it. If I stood back, you can see things shake. But, yeah, it's not going to move. It actually takes a little bit to get it off the 
So I've already printed it, like I said, that there. They print it fine. And then you take it off, you let it cool down to room temp, you flex it and it pops right off. And I mean, it, it, it's remarkable. This is probably the best uh, print bed thing I've, I've seen come out. I wish I hadn't waited a year to get them. <laughs> But I did get them on the uh, Black Friday sale, so they were cheaper. But if you want them and you uh, want get to get away from clips, the uh, magnets and the link at the top, and then Gecko Tech, I'll put it in the link at the top. Uh, also, BuildTac is doing their own metal plate. And what it is, it's just a metal plate. And then you put their BuildTac on top of it. And then you clip it to the thing. This coating on here works great. The build pack being flexible on a metal plate would probably be ideal. Because then you could just flex it and get it off. Instead of trying to scrape it off and damage it in the surface. Uh, I may try one of those later. But for now, I don't see me changing up unless something happens. This is great right here. You can use the magnets with the build pack plate, I'm sure. And do the same thing. So... If you're wanting to get away from the clips, there's your option for doing it, and you get a better print service. Thank you. Have a good day.